Hello and welcome to the Tarkus Zone. Thank you for joining me. Today we're playing the game Ars Notoria. And as I had promised, I was going to do a button-up video, a back-end video of this last playtesting, uh, showing you the house that I could build currently with the assets that are in the game. I have moved most of my benches inside. I've got some benches out here still. They're just not benches that I spent a lot of time using. And actually, this uh, skinning bench, I could just make a second one for the inside of my building. Now, the, the building uh, modules in this game, you're, you're limited to what they currently have in the test environment like for the walls and whatnot but you can see that they've got other items that you can unlock i imagine eventually you'll be able to unlock stone walls or another type of wall but currently the walls that you can make require the the soft lumber and they require the earthenware and that's the that's the uh, slowness of this process is getting the earthenware because there's no automated process to get that right now not that i know of so when you want to build currently, you have to go out and go to the earthenware nodes and collect those items manually. And then you use those items to build whatever structures you want. Now, inside here, I've kind of trapped my horse because I was sick of him wandering around. Because uh, what happens is if he's outside, he'll wander around and then you got to go find him. Uh, but inside, he's kind of locked here. I can't wait until they unlock fencing because then I would just lock him in a fence. Right now, that the fencing is not available. It's still behind the, uh, the uh, testing phase, so they haven't unlocked any of the outside fencing, but they eventually will. Then I'll be able to button the, the horse up in a paddock, and then I'll know where he is when I want to go find him. Uh, inside my building, I've tested, this is, this fireplace is just something that runs all the time. It's for atmosphere. Uh, the, the, uh, benches here. This, uh, this is one of my sawmills. Outside on the other side of this wall is where I got my debarker. See, this, uh, this sawmill is not working. I wonder why. Uh, missing resources. Well, it shouldn't be missing resources. I've got, uh... A hundred. Sometimes this happens, and I've got to re-start uh, them up. Now there's a debarker behind that wall. You can see it right there. So you can't overlap debarkers, and you can't overlap the sawmills. So they've got to be in a particular location, and I just got them running inside here with the debarkers on the outer wall. This here is uh, what they call the the blooming. I I call it my. Uh, my iron ignit furnace oh i wonder why that didn't start oh storage is full okay i just read see i gotta pull it out so a lot of things currently is not automated you still have to interact with things what i mean by automation is right now i've got sawmills that are bringing in in um let's go to resources here yeah, i got sawmills that are bringing in the soft wood automatically and I'm doing uh, point negative two only because I've got three of the the, uh, the circular saws going. That's what's behind me is the circular saws. And so those circular saws are making me the soft lumber. So they're converting it automatically for me because I've got that started. Because these are, these are not sawmills. These are circular saws. The sawmills are another structure which are outside collecting the uh, logs for me. So the logs come in. They get made into the lumber. And then I can use the lumber for various things. Uh, over here, I've got this furnace here, or a, uh, what are they? It's for me to uh, upgrade or uh, to salvage items. This, 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 uh, this bench is for salvaging. If I find items in the game, I can salvage them to their uh, raw components. This is for me to build uh, weapons. And this is for me to upgrade weapons. And for me to upgrade weapons, I had to build, I believe I had to build this uh, this thing here in front of me, this uh, wheel. So what happens is, is you unlock various items. And then once you've placed them, that then unlocks more recipes within the bench, the main bench. 
and one of them is the up, you know, and salvaging. And basically, you can do all that from this bench because I've put these other benches down. So it's not like I have to come to this bench to do it. This kind of bench kind of, you know, buttons it all up and allows you to do it all from there. I've got some, my storage container. I tested that. I've got my stone container. What I did is I made a basement in this build, so it's down here. Now, what the game does is currently for testing is if you're stuck, the game will send you to uh, one location, the unstuck location in the game. And guess what? It's in my basement. So if I'm over here and I am and I go to unstuck, it's going to bring me to my basement. See, I, I, I'm standing right here and then I come out of my basement. Because uh, if I had built a floor here, I'd get stuck in the floor. And, you know, if I had a foundation right there, if I did an unstuck, I'd be stuck in the foundation. So I built it this way. So I'm in a basement. I actually can crawl out to the outdoors if I want to from there. But, you know, overall, everything seems to be working well. It seems to be working fine. Uh, these are the sawmills. Uh, this is the sawmill. I've got four of them out in the woods here. And they just bring in automatically bringing in the logs logs so really the game has a lot of automation to it i would like to see clay automated in some way or the earthenware automated in some way so i don't have to go out and collect those items to build my house because if you want to make a huge structure then you don't want to i mean it, it's taken forever to build this thing because what happens is uh, I got to go out and get all the earthenware and then I got to wait for all those nodes to respawn again. And because the server goes down in this play, play environment when I log off, things are not being collected while I'm offline unless I leave the game running in the background. On a server or a persistent server, which eventually is going to happen with this game, you won't have that problem. You'll be able to log off and your, your mills should be, you know, continuing doing what they're doing or your automated process will continue doing its thing while you're offline but that's with a dedicated server or a, you know just a unique server being up but because the game currently is a single player you know it runs only when i'm actually actively playing it then you know nodes are not responding when the game shut down i went if i shut the game down and log back in it's just going to bring me back to where i was and i still have to wait for the nodes to respond that's what i liked with world of warcraft was i could just log out wait 20 minutes log back in and then go collect nodes again because they were on a 20 minute respawn all right, well, I just wanted to show you, as I had promised, I was going to show you how the building looked. This is basically what they have available now in the t testing environment. But I imagine what's going to eventually happen is these windows are going to get opened up into maybe sub-windows for, for brick buildings, concrete buildings, clay buildings, you know, you know different kind of ambient-style buildings. Uh, this is just... The building style, what we got here is just for testing, making sure things are aligning correctly, making sure that we can build things. I mean, right now they've only got one set of stairs that we can build. I'm gonna shut that door so my ding horse don't leave. You hear me? I don't like it that you wander. Stop wandering. And the other thing about it is too, is I've got these goats over here that are in a field that I have pretty much tamed. What I'd like to see, oh, I just fell on my face. What I'd like to see in this game is like a, uh, a rope or a leash where I, if, if, I've, got this, if I've got this tamed uh, to a point where I can use a, a, a tether or a leash and then I connect it to the animal and then I can walk the animal into a pasture. But right now what I've been doing is just going to my inventory and then dropping things on the ground here for them to eat. And the, the other little goat comes over leave me some leave me some food so these guys are pretty tame so they don't leave this area because i'm continuously feeding them but what would be nice is if i could rope them in some way tether them in some way and then bring them into my house and then i just have them and and right now if i click on them i can get goat milk so that's you know once they get, add the fencing to the game uh and, and you Okay, I got my daily amount. Once they add paddocks and fencing to the game, which they're going to do, you'll be able to just fence these guys in. And this way you know they're going to be here every time. I think they hang out here because I'm feeding them constantly. 
They're like, oh yeah, you're my friend. I'm not, I'm not leaving you. Uh, as long as you feed me, <laughs> I'll stay around. Uh, but it would be nice if I could, you know, lead them. You know, Black Desert Online did it. You had a, like a, le uh, it was like a tether or a rope. It was just an item in the game. And as long as you had the rope in your hand and you interacted with the creature or the other animal, as long as the animal was not hostile, meaning that you had tamed it in some way. So it liked you, you roped it, and then you could just, what it would be is they would, you know, what was also neat about it is you couldn't, if you took the rope out of your hand, the thing would wander off. So you would have to keep the rope in your, like a, like a, like in your um, attack slot, the rope would be here. And then as long as the rope's there, you're tethered to the, the, the creature until you get him to where you want to go. And then you just remove the rope from your slot and they're untethered at that point And they just wander around wherever you brought them. All right. Well, that's it. That's my uh, video for today on the game. The testing has been going phenomenally well. I haven't found that many concerns or issues in the current state of the game so I'm, I'm hoping that they open up the map a little more add a little bit more content that we can uh uh try or test and maybe automating a few more items in the game i mean they added more automation in the game there's a few various items they did add in the last update that allowed you to automate i would like to see the building structure automation like the clay being automated this way i can just hang out here wait for the goods to come in and build whatever i want and because that's the sl that's what's slowing me down right now is having to run around and getting the clay all right well thank you for joining me and this has been the tarkas zone